The Nintendo Wii is a charming little console with a ton of variety that appeals to people of all ages. Almost 20 years later and these games still bring so much joy and nostalgia. From Wii Sports with a family to Mad World with a hardcore gamer, this console had it all. The Wii era was a truly magical time to be a Nintendo fan alongside the Nintendo DS. This is my personal list of favourite Wii games. If a game that is deserving to be on this list isn't, then it probably is because I haven't played it or I simply just didn't enjoy it like others did. So let's go back and look at some of the best Wii games in 2024. Coming off the commercially panned Red Steel, the sequel fixed everything wrong with the original and over-delivered with a fantastic sequel. This feels like Borderlands with Samurai Swords. With its fast fluid combat and responsive controls, interesting world and engaging missions, Red Steel 2 will forever live on the way as one of its greatest hidden gems. Despite Resident Evil 4 being re-released on every console to date, I firmly believe the Wii version to be the best due to its motion controls. It is the same Resident Evil 4 on other consoles, so typically this is going to be a fantastic game. But like I said, the motion controls really make the aiming more fun and easy, and I think can really help with those who aren't the biggest fan of tank controls. Monster Hunter 3 marked a turning point in the series and really opened up the franchise to a wider audience. Although the game didn't evolve much from its inception, it did improve with quality of life changes and still is a ton of fun. With a lengthy single player and separate multiplayer campaign, you can expect to sink your fangs into Monster Hunter Dry. Not to mention hundreds of weapons and armor options, no hunter is ever the same. There is just a ton of choice to pick in this game. Another title that didn't expand much upon its prequels, Animal Crossing City Folk. However, this is an Animal Crossing game, so that makes it a good game. Collecting shells, fishing for fish, and selling fruit is always addictive in Animal Crossing. This was a point in the series where the game truly felt like a relaxing life sim game. This game also has my favourite Animal Crossing soundtrack. All the songs truly reflect the time of day perfectly. Nothing to me beats fishing late at night listening to this relaxing soundtrack. WarioWare Smooth Moves is seriously the best party game to play by yourself and with other people. With its short addictive minigames, quirky sense of humour and slapping soundtrack, this is a game that has you coming back. It also has many different game modes that adds a twist to the minigames without changing it up too much. For example, a mode that speeds everything up times 5 or a one life mode and etc. All the minigames are fun, don't feel tacky and will have you chuckling along the way. Wii Sports Resort is a serious vibe. They took what made Wii Sports great and upped it by times 10. The sunny Hulu Island is a place you could seriously see yourself living in. When I turn this game on, it just makes me feel happy. It comes with fun mini games such as archery, sword fighting, and frisbee throwing, just to name a few. If you loved Wii Sports, you definitely need to try out Wii Sports Resort. Plus, it uses the Wii Motion Plus, so the gameplay feels much more fluid and responsive. Twilight Princess took fans back to a style they had been wanting for a long time, a more gritty and dark Zelda game, and Twilight Princess delivered. This title offered a massive open world game with heaps of dungeons, fun times and scary boss battles. It also introduced us to one of the best sidekicks in Zelda history, Midna. Twilight Princess is not perfect, but it definitely is up there in the top 5 Zelda games of all time.
Super Smash Bros. Brawl brought a ton of content to the franchise with its subspace emissary mode. The amount of cutscenes was like watching a full length movie, the amount of different characters interacting with each other was just a joy to watch. It also had classic mode and a huge variety of characters. It was the first game to also bring in third party characters with Snake and Sonic just to name a few. Competitively, this is the weakest but if that's not your jam, this game definitely offers the most substance. Plus, just fighting your friends is always fun in Smash Bros. However, just turn the volume down when you boot the game up. Mario Galaxy is an example of what a 3D platformer is and should be. With a slick moveset, wonderful orchestrated soundtrack, original level designs, this is one of the best Mario games to date. The storytelling is also surprisingly touching and investing for a Mario game. The levels bring so much variety and just leave enough for you to want more. The space vibe is done very well with a good balance making it still feel like a Mario game. Mario Kart Wii is a wonderful kart racer that brings to the table upbeat energy and course designs that still hold up today. The music is also iconic and a joy to listen to. This game can be criticised as being unpolished and unbalanced, but what Mario Kart is truly perfect. Mario Kart Wii is my most played Wii game thanks to online multiplayer. It has a low skill floor, but a high ceiling to learn. Mario Kart Wii definitely is my favourite Wii game of all time. If you stuck around to the end, I thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to know what your favourite Wii games are and what games make you feel nostalgic. The Wii definitely isn't perfect and deservedly so. However, the Wii for me was the beginning of this magical era for Nintendo. It feels like this console only came out yesterday, but here we are almost 20 years later. Thank you again for watching the video and I will see you next time.